Hi guys and welcome back to Remote Learning with Mrs. Camacho. So um, in today's lesson, in today's math lesson, we're going to be um, working with number bonds and also working with the five group way. So I'm um, hoping that you boys and girls remember what the five group way is, but don't worry if you don't remember, we're gonna go over that in just a few minutes. Um, in today's lesson, students will be able to represent um, decomposition and composition addition stories up to the number 10 using pictures and using it in the five group way. All right, so let's dive into um, what we're going to be doing. Um, the first thing that we want to do is to go over what the five group way is. So a um, five group way is when you are drawing um, pictures, objects, or whatever it is that you're using, um, or using counters, and putting them in a row of five, and then starting a brand new row again to continue the counting on, okay? So since we're doing up to number 10, here we have a representation of the five group way. All right, so on the, on the top we have a group of five black circles. And then to continue on, I began a new row of circles, okay? So that is what the five group way is. So boys and girls, do you remember what this is? Raise your hands if you do, okay? That means that we only have five objects in a row. So let's say that again, we only have objects in our good job all right so i'm gonna put this down for a minute because we don't need that right now um we're gonna move into doing um a number story but before we do that um adults parents family members um what you want to do is to get this ready a sheet like this ready for your children so here we have five group in squares then we have a number sentence then we have five group in circles two rows of that then we have two number sentences then you're also going to have this ready for your little ones number bond the whole number the parts of the number and then a number sentence ready for them and we'll go into that when we need to. So the first thing, and you're also gonna need an additional blank piece of paper so that you can draw a picture of the number stories that I'm giving you now, okay? My apologies, I scratched that last part. You don't need a blank piece of paper. You just need the ones that I just told you to make. Sorry, um, moving on. So we're going to flip over to this part for our first number story, okay? And what you're gonna do with that is that you're going to draw using circles um, to draw to match the number bond. Now for this part here, you do not need to do it in the five group way. I just want you to show me what the whole number is in circles, what the parts would be and then complete the number sentence. But let's listen to the number story first, okay? Here we go, listen carefully. Nancy had 10 beans. She picked up six beans on one hand and four in the other hand. How many beans does she have in all? If you said 10, you are correct. You're a very good listener. So Nancy does have 10 beans. Now what I want you to do is to draw those 10 beans right above the whole number on your number bond. Where would that be? I want you to draw 10 beans right above the whole number of your number bond. Do that now. If you drew 10 beans right across the top of this number, you are correct because 10 is the whole number. Now, 
what I want you to do is to draw circles to represent each of the parts of this about 10 here, okay? If you drew six on this side to represent six and four on this side to represent the four, you are correct. Now you're going to complete the number sentence at the bottom. Okay, when you are done with that part, you're going to show me this part. Okay, you're gonna need this part for the next one, okay? Are we ready? Listen carefully. Shelly had eight presents. Her friends gave her two more presents. How many presents does Shelly have now? If you said 10, you are correct. Shelly had already eight presents and her friend gave her two more presents and that all equals to 10. Very good. So what I want you to do here now is to show me the eight presents and color in eight presents to represent the eight presents that Shelly already had. Do that now. Ready? Show me. Very good. So if you colored in five in a row and three in the next row, that equals to eight. Very good. And now that eight represents the presence that the eight presence that Shelly already had. What do the two that we did not color in represent? If you said the two extra presents that she received, you are correct. So what you're going to do is you're going to write complete the number sentence and using what first? You see the number symbol? What number symbol is that? If you set the plus sign, you are correct. So if you see a plus sign first in the number sentence, you know that we are going to write in the parts of the number. Good job. And then it, when you write the parts of the number, it's going to equal to the whole number. Very good. All right. Once you're done with that part, we're gonna need to go into this part. Do that now for me. Good job. Okay, so now, get this part ready for me, guys. So what I want you to do is to take a look at mine, okay? And focus up here. Now, what do we see here, boys and girls? Okay, so we see two rows of five. Right? We see two rows of five. And then underneath that, we have two number sentences to complete. Now, as we mentioned previously in my previous video, you have to take a look at the number symbol that, that is first in the number sentence to know what number you are writing first. So the first one is done for us, but let's take a look at the number symbol we see first. What number symbol is that? If you said the equal sign, you are correct. So we know that if we see an equal sign, we're going to have the, the whole number written first. Okay, now let's take a look at the second number sentence. What number symbol do we see first in the number sentence? If you said the plus sign, you are correct. So we know that when we see a plus sign, we have to write the parts of the number first. Very good. Okay, so remember, we are going to now complete this part, but I want you to take a listen first to the story, okay? So it's not a story. It's just um, something that I want you to do with this. With your marker or pencil or crayon, whatever it is that you're using now, I want you to pick that up and I want you to circle the group of five dots that are at the top part 
I want you to circle the group of five dots that are at the top. If you circle this five group first, you are correct. Very good. Now what I want you to do is I want you to help me fill in the blanks of this of these number sentences. So I'm going to circle the top first too, okay? Good. Now, we have the whole number first. So let's say the number sentence. 10 equals blank plus blank. What numbers are we going to write in these blank lines? If you said five plus five, you are correct because the first five represents the first five group that we circle. The other five represents the five group that we did not circle. Okay, good job. Now let's take a look at the next number sentence. And let me fill that in as well. And the next number sentence, let's read it out. Blank plus blank equals blank. So we see the plus sign first, so we are going to write in the parts. Can anybody take a guess as to what numbers, what parts are we going to write in those lines? If you said five plus five, you are correct. Again, the first five represents the group of five that we circled first. The other five represents the ones that we did not circle. And five plus five will equal to what? If you said 10, you are correct. And 10 equals all the circles all together the whole number, okay? Great job. Now that you're done with that, you boys and girls received um, a document with your um, workbook in it. So if you get a moment, please locate that and scroll down to lesson 30. Lesson 30 on your um, downloaded workbook, okay? If you've done that, you're gonna find that you are on this page. So now I'm gonna push the camera to that part. All right, so here we have the page that you should be on, lesson 30. You're gonna see some rocket ships. And what else do we see? Astronauts, is very good. What do we call this here? If you said number bond, you were correct. And then underneath that, we have our what? If you said number sentence, you are correct. So I am going to read out the little story that we have right across the top. And I'm going to show you what it's going to look like to complete this part. And then you boys and girls are gonna go do that on your own, okay? The rest of it on your own. So here we have, Ricky has 10 space toys. He has seven rockets and three astronauts. Now take a look at the, the way the images are put onto this page. Who can tell me how they are placed on the page? If you said in the five group way, you are correct. It is in the five group way because we have five objects going across the top. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, five rocket ships going across the top. And we needed to start a new row to draw the rest of our objects, okay? All right, so taking a look at the picture, you're gonna use the picture to help you complete the number bomb and to help you complete the number sentence, okay? So the first thing we wanna do is complete the number bond. Now take a look at the pictures and what number do we have in the whole part? If you said 10, you were right, because we have 10 objects drawn, right? So we have all of our 10 objects. How many are rocket ships? If you said seven, you are correct. So you're gonna write a seven in the first number bond. 
how many astronauts do we have? Three. So if you said three, you're gonna write three in the other part of the number bond. Now seven and three makes 10. Very good. Now we're gonna complete the bottom portion, okay? So I want you to take a look. What number do we have first? If you said 10, you are correct, right? And 10 represents what? The whole number, all of the objects together. So if you said that, you are correct. So then now we're going to complete and fill in what? The parts of the number. Good. So what was the first part? If you said seven, that's correct, because seven represents the seven rocket ships. What would be the other part? If you put in three, you are correct, because the three represents the three astronauts. So here you have this portion to complete. And again, you can send me a picture when you're done of your work. Now, if you do not, if you cannot print this out, that's fine. Draw the pictures for me. Draw the number bonds and complete it that way, okay? On any kind of paper that you have available. Then you have this part of to complete as well. So you need an adult to help you read out the story. And then you're going to draw me the picture to match the story. And then complete the number sentences. Don't forget. Look at the number symbols first to know how to complete your number sentence. You have two number stories to complete. And then a homework page to complete after that. Okay. So boys and girls, that concludes our math lesson. But it doesn't have to stop there. Because if you go on YouTube and you type in number bonds and look for Jack Hartman, you get to sing along to some of his number bond songs, which you guys are already familiar with. All right? And don't forget to continue practicing your number bonds, your numbers, and counting, because it's only going to make you better at your numbers, okay? Better with your numbers. So... Tutorial.